I don't know if I can make it. That bridge is pretty far away. But if I make it up there, I'm going to give those students a real rhythm workout. I made it. I hope you're ready for today's rhythm workout. Today we're going to have some fun with different rhythm combinations using quarter notes and eighth notes. Now before we get started, let's make sure that you have some kind of an instrument to play. Look around the house and try to find something that you could imagine making into a drum. I found this coffee can and I found this coffee can. Coffee all gone. And I got a ton of these. I never know what to do with them. I came up with this. Now I'm going to make a drum set out of them. Now if you just want to stick with a single drum, that's fine. Just one can will do. But when you have more drums, you can get a wider variety of sounds. So I start by taping the two coffee cans together. And if you notice, I turned one coffee can upside down so that I can get an extra sound out of the drum. Then I tape on the plastic container and here's what you get. So now I go through my drawers looking for some beaters and I find some chopsticks I can use. And I got tons of these plastic spoons from various soups I've got at various delis. And then, like one of my favorite things in my drawer are my wooden spoons. But since our drum set's kind of small, I'm going to use those two plastic spoons right there. I think they're going to work really nicely. Now included in today's lesson is a file containing these wonderful rhythm cards. It's a PDF file. In it, you're going to have three different pages. And the first page is rhythms one, two, three, and four. And we're going to work the most with them today. On the second page are rhythms five, six, seven, and eight. And on the last page, we've got some repeat cards, which when you're creating your own rhythms can be really, really helpful if you need them. Now, if you're lucky enough to have a printer, you can run these cards off on the printer and then cut them up and you're good to go. If you don't have a printer, never fear. Just get out some paper, uh, look at the picture on the screen, and then draw your own cards. You can get four cards on one piece of paper. Okay, we get out our scissors and we cut up our cards and here we go with card one, card two, card three, and card four. We are ready to make some rhythms. Here's a quarter note and in four four time one quarter note equals one beat of music. Here are two eighth notes and in four four time two eighth notes equal one beat of music. So two eighth notes equals one quarter note. Now we're going to give our quarter notes and our eighth notes a name. Quarter notes right here, single stem, and here are the eighth notes like that right there. Uh, it's springtime. I'm thinking about flowers and I want a one syllable word for my quarter note because that just gets the single beat. I'm going to pick rose. Rose is a beautiful flower. And for the eighth notes, I need a two-syllable word. So I'm picking tulip because I love tulips too. If you want to use the terms that a lot of musicians use, you can call each quarter note ta and your eighth note pairs as tt. So this would be ta, ta, and over here we have tt, tt. Now here's how you use the repeat cards. For our first rhythm, we're going to keep the steady beat with quarter notes. Ta, ta, rose, rose. We're going to repeat it over and over again for the first verse of Mama Don't Allow. Please play with me. Five, six, seven, eight. Try another sound. Just for fun, the cymbal.
There you got your quarter notes, steady beat. Good job. Now with our basic eighth note combination, we're gonna grow some tulips or some TTs, whatever you prefer. And if you notice, once again, we're gonna repeat it. So it's tulip, 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 or TT, 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 TT. Now we're just gonna play eighth notes. Join me. Here we go with our eighth note tulip combination. Now we're going to grow our quarter note, eighth note garden with roses and with tulips. So this rhythm is going to be ta, ta, ti, 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 rose, rose, tulip, tulip. Five, six, seven, eight. If you notice, I put the rose taws on one drum head, and I put the tulip TT on another drum head just to get different sounds out of it. What I've done here is I've replaced number two with number four. So as you look at this, we see three roses and one tulip, right? So this would be rose, 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 tulip, or Ta, 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 ti, ti. Hope you're still playing along. Five, six, seven, eight. Now look what we did here. We moved four where one was, so that's going to be our the first part of our rhythm. And now we put three where four was. So this is going to sound like this. Rose, tulip, tulip, rose, or ta, ti, 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 ta. And here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. Well, if you made it to the end of this video, congratulations. And if you played along, terrific. Here's what I'd like you to do. I'd like you to put one of those rhythm combinations together and play along with the Mama Don't Allow recording. Then after you've done that and you feel really secure with it, have some people sing the song and you just play the rhythm on your drum set or maybe even on the kitchen table and you're going to be amazed at how your playing really keeps that whole song together.